My new farm and yard tractor chicken coop is here. And I'm really kind of excited because it came straight to the door. It was in flat boxes. It's so cute because it even came with gloves, which is awesome because I never have gloves because I get them too dirty and I throw them away. And it came with these cute little wrenches. And I mean, all kinds of stuff came with it. So let me show you what I've done. I reused one of the top of the boxes to make my workstation. And I laid out all my small parts right here on this area just so that I would know quickly where everything's at while I'm assembling it. And then I took all the parts because mine is the three panel and I laid them all out so that I can see which part I need to use according to the directions. Um, right now I'm getting ready to start building it and let's see how it works. It also came with this nice little instruction manual, it even has the parts list and very detailed assembly. So this thing should be pretty easy to put together. So this is one of the color bond wall panels and you wanna make sure when you're installing it that your four holes are on the top and that these brackets that are holding them in place are on the bottom. If you install it the wrong way, your wire mesh flooring for the inside of the coop will not slide down in here. So you have to make sure that you're installing it with these L brackets on the bottom and that your four holes are on the top for your roosting bars. Okay, so now I'm ready to install the mesh flooring for the inside of the coop and you wanna make sure your two holes that are on the side of your mesh, mesh flooring are going to line up with your holes on the lower panel bar here. And then also you're going to be using the larger mesh panel for the flooring. Okay, now I'm ready to install my roosting bars. Such a cute little tracker coop. Now I'm gonna get all this started with the bolts and the washers, and then I'm gonna tighten them down. Okay, I've completed step one, and now I'm gonna to move to step two, which is the wheel assembly. Let's see if I can figure this out. So it says to place your wheel on the bolt, place a washer and one large locking nut and not to tighten down too tightly because it could prevent the wheel from moving and uh, tighten it there just a little not too snug all right i have my bolt assembly ready for my tractor tire uh, make sure you're paying attention to the direction that you're feeding your bolt through you wanna make sure that your wheel is going to go on the outside of the color bond coop and that your bolt is coming through the bar from the same side of your wheel. Now I'm gonna slide it through. I'm gonna add the next washer and grab my locking nut. Okay, now we're ready for our mesh panels. Um, I have chose to tilt mine back on its back because I'm working on unlevel ground and it makes it a little harder to feed your bolts through that way. So you want to, if you need to tilt it over on its back to add your first two panels, you can do that. And then I'm getting ready to add the support bar. But I want to point out that these wire mesh panels have four holes on one side and two on the other. And to connect them, you're going to use the two holes. The four holes are for your top, your top roofing system. Mash. See how light that is? I can, I mean, I can even drag it across my yard, and that's without the wheels uh, being down and moving it. Okay, so I'm ready to install the second floor brace and bracket. It says to make sure you do not use washers on the head, heads of the bolts on this step. 
Okay, I'm excited. I'm ready to install my roof panels. Make sure you're paying attention to your roof panels because you have one that's specifically labeled metal roof panel and they're gonna tie together as they butt up. So pay attention to where your holes are aligning as well. So you don't have to undo your work and redo your work. Helpful tip on the assembly of the roof. It's gonna be a little easier for you to get the first panel on by flipping it back on its back again and then assembling your roof panel. I gotta show you guys this. Look, my hands are already so curious. They're checking it out. <laughs> What I'm working on right now is each roof panel has um, two bolts that connect the two panels together to draw them in really tight and close. And I'm securing those bolts right now and then my roof will be done. Okay, to start installing your gate onto your tractor coop, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have this gate open so that you have access to both the front and back side of the bolt as you're installing it. Okay, I've got my door all assembled. And I'm gonna tell you, I am so pleased with how lightweight this door is. <laughs> I don't know if I've just been working with wood products for too long and they're, they get they tend to get heavy and they sag and, uh, and it's so nice that this just opens so easily. Um, it came with two handles, which you've probably already seen me install, and that's going to make it really easy to roll as well. And now I'm ready to, I'm going to flip it over on its side to put the wire panels on the bottom. Okay, so the book says to secure your end pieces first with your fasteners and your wire panels. These are your fasteners. They're going to slide over your wire to your panel. And what's nice is they, keep, they slide so that you're able to line it up where it needs to be for each piece that you're securing onto the panel. So you'll just be able to slide them around when you're securing them. Okay, so what you're doing here in the middle support beam is you're gonna run a fastener from one side and a fastener from the other side. And then you'll be able to slide them up into the position that you need them to be in and run your bolt through both holes to have your fasteners where both panels meet up in the middle. Okay, now to the finishing touches. I have, I'm installing my zip ties and I'm done. I did all of this in a little under two hours and I didn't even break a fingernail. Now for the finishing touches of the chicken coop are the little nesting boxes that are made out of recyclable material. They just snap right together and then you're able to put them right inside box right here. 